vegetables, so I'll be able to throw it in the washing machine. You've always nursery. I've done the work for y'all. Gonna replace that. <gasps> Hey y'all, welcome to today's video. I am very excited to be bringing all the planning, all the baby things. What is different this time around, of course, is that we already have a nursery, which is what I'm standing in today. And we are going to be moving, transitioning, changing some things up. So the current nursery will stay a nursery and Mila will move to her like transitioning into big girl room <laughs> uh, so there's going to be some things that will stay in this room things that we're going to be changing out of course things that Mila's going to be taking with her to her new room so I want to take you guys along in the planning process recently I shared kind of like a mood board of what I wanted for um, baby boys nursery to look like it kind of took me a little bit we knew the color that we really gravitated towards for him um, which is like that burnt rusty orange and uh, I didn't want the room to scream like southern man <laughs> um, but I wanted it to still be a bright and clean um, like nursery feeling I love that without you know like super western looking you know what I'm saying southwestern something I just I didn't want to go completely in that route today I'm going to bring you through all of like the early stages of planning I am currently 25 weeks at this time with Mila, we already had like furniture and stuff. <laughs> Technically, I do already have furniture and stuff, so I'm not like completely behind. Um, but I do have a plan and I have things in action or things in motion. Things are moving over here. I'm also going to show a few DIY projects today. So a portion of this video is going to be sponsored by Cricut. <laughs> I'm so excited. If you have been following me for any amount of time over the past three or four years and you know that I am a lover and user of Cricut products, I'm absolutely obsessed. I'm a crafter at heart. That is where this journey, I think, all began. Um, I love DIYing things and making custom gifts and things for our home. Um, and that doesn't change, of course, when it comes to babies. I love making custom little shirts and jackets and, um, you know, little pieces around their room and stuff. I use their products every holiday. Like, I'm just a big, I'm a huge lover of all the things. I wanted to not show you, like, basic, and I'm not saying that, I won't say basic, just typical things that people make with their crickets or, like, cups and shirts and stuff. I didn't want to show you guys that. I wanted to show you there are so many more things that you can do so I'm going to show you a few projects that I'm going to be working on for little man's nursery first let's jump into my plan for this room right now we're just going to be honest it's a little bit of a hot mess <laughs> there's stuff everywhere and uh, Mila's rug is gone because we've already started transitioning some you can see I'll show you what this is show you what's going to stay what's changing we loved this we thought that all of this was very practical Mila loves looking in this mirror this mirror is going to be going with her to her room so we're just going to replace that with just a simple black rimmed circular mirror um, that's going to go right there and then I'm also going to let Mila take this shelving thing to her room so I'm just going to do simple two shelves right here and of course he'll have his little baby moccasins um, a little name sign eventually he'll get his own little Mickey hat from Disney World all the little you know little knickknacks and stuff will go up there this also came in handy but I'm thinking um, that might go into Mila's room because it has like her hair products and body stuff. We might relocate that for him into one of these top drawers. Haven't decided yet. I still might get. I do have two of these little like diaper caddies is what they're called. So we might change that out. Her little owl young living diffuser. That will go with her until it's time for him to have one. And then we'll, we'll do all of that. Um, this dresser is actually going to stay in here. Because we do plan on still changing diapers in here. So because he will have of course the majority of diapers being changed. We want this closest to us. And we still change all of Mila's diapers up here. We get her dressed up here. So to make my life easier, we're just going to continue doing all of that in here because most of the stuff's in here. So we'll just, when we get her out of bed, we'll, you know, bring her down here, grab her an outfit and a diaper and come on in here and get that situated. So I'm going to change these drawer knobs out to something a little bit more aesthetically pleasing within the vibe that we're going for i'm thinking these leather pulls might be really nice i don't know if it's like super practical for opening it up um, if not these will be fine because they're almost black and that will go with the whole feeling that we're going for and then moving on over here to the crib like i said mila's keeping her crib i did want all my kids to sleep in the same crib 
but this just happened a lot sooner. If you've been a part of this whole pregnancy journey, you know that we just popped up surprisingly pregnant. <laughs> so now Mila's of course still in her crib and we weren't gonna transition it, like I said, to a toddler bed until like age three unless she gives us signs that she's ready to transition earlier. So she's gonna keep her crib and we're going with what I think would look really good in here and, and bring in some warmth without me giving away like my, my light and bright feeling that I like. Then we're gonna go with like a chestnut. So kind of like, I, I think this is a walnut that her sign is. Of course her sign is going in her room and he'll get his own whenever we figure out what his name is. That's gonna go up there. Um, but I'm thinking like a chestnut crib, um, a little bit different of a style will go here. His bedding will stay neutral pretty much because of the fact that he's gonna have more of a colored crib and he's gonna have more of a patterned area rug. So I have already ordered this and I will link this down below. It is actually a washable rug so i was a little shocked when it came in a box <laughs> i'm used to rugs coming rolled up so i was like what is this <laughs> i think it's gonna really help bring in the sagey greens that burnt rusty orange the blacks the creams all of it all of this is leaving all of this all of that we might leave the little rocking horse because it might be cute in here but everything else including the curtains of course these are a little bit more feminine curtains so we're going to take these out move them into mila's room now moving over here this is most likely going to stay the same you will just notice of course all the little shades of pink and things are going to go the images inside of those portraits or those frames there they're going to be changed the books will stay you'll just see a different throw blanket different lamp stuff like that now moving into the closet <laughs> which is gonna be so fun, taking all of Mila's stuff out and reorganizing it in her new closet. I'm very excited about that because right now, all of his stuff that I have been purchasing is just in bags, just thrown in there. So that's gonna be super fun. We gotta move this to Mila's room. First thing that I wanna go over with y'all that I'm gonna be making for his room is gonna be closet dividers. So for that, let's go into my office slash craft room and I'm gonna show you the projects that I'm gonna be working on for little man with my new Cricut Joy. So let's go on in there and try those out. I want to show you first off, because I've had the Cricut Maker. The video is not about the Cricut Maker. I just wanna go ahead and, and lay that out. But because I've had the Cricut Maker for I think over three years now. I wanted to do a little bit of a comparison. I've got questions in the past. Would I recommend one over the other? And is there like a preference or anything like that? So first and foremost, I did want to say if you're looking for something that's more compact and you're still going to be able to do quite a bit of projects and get a lot done, but you know, it's not gonna take up much space or anything. You can just take this on into the kitchen. Um, I know I've seen people that just take this straight into their pantry that have a pantry. I don't have one of those things. <laughs> but if you had a pantry, you could just take it right in there, plug her in and make you some labels to put on and organize everything in your pantry right there because this is just super simple. Um, one thing that is different about this than my Cricut Maker for sure is the new Smart Vinyl. With the new machine, what I think is so like next level. I don't know who thought of this, but I'm like, man, y'all really knew. So instead of having to use one of their Cricut mats, which is perfectly fine, that allows you to use like all the old vinyls and iron on vinyls and stuff that you already previously had if you were already you know cricket crafting um but now you can actually use the smart vinyl the smart label vinyl which i'll talk about here in a minute but you can use all of these things without a mat so the paper that it comes attached to is actually like a special paper it already comes on its own mat you don't need to apply it to one of these cutting mats which takes out an extra step and an extra thing that you have to purchase if you buy the smart vinyl this is the permanent one so you're going to be able to like hand wash this if it goes on cups or if you want to put it on like um, make decals for windows or license plates or anything like that that might get like some moisture or something to it because it literally says water and uv resistant on the box so today i'm going to be showing you how to use this of course with the 
free matlessness so we don't have to worry about using a mat it's just going to go straight into our joy machine to make some organizing labels for little man's closet along with because i just have to show you guys of course different features that this thing can do these little closet organizers are something that i it's kind of like a random thing it's not necessarily a necessity but i feel like it was super helpful with keeping mila's closet organized and being able to know what she hadn't wore and what was coming up and how to keep all the sizes in order so these come in pack of six different ones so you're going to get like zero to three three to six um so i was literally just going to buy him another set and just get rid of mila's and then i said why don't i just cover the ones i already have i already have them so this is where um the smart label vinyl comes into play i'm not going to be using this today but you could definitely use this um, because this is actual writable vinyl. So the Cricut Joy is going to come with one of these little Cricut Joy fine point pens. And you can just pop it into the place that the blade would be. Y'all, it's so user friendly because the Cricut Design Space will literally tell you, Hey, take out this. <laughs> take the blade out. We're going to use the marker right now. So go ahead and put that pen. Well, not marker, pen. We're going to put the pen in the place of it. And then if it needs to cut, then it'll say, Okay, next step, we'll take the pen back out and put your blade back in the machine and click it right in. So because I don't want these just to be plain white because these are just white. So what you're gonna be able to do this with the Cricut Joy is you're gonna be able to make whatever shape or size or whatever design, whatever cutting design that you want to make in the size of your labels. And then you're gonna use the writing feature on Design Space to write out what you want them to say. So like I said earlier, if you wanna go in your pantry and make labels for all the containers, flour, powdered sugar, rice, all those things, you can make your own labels and they are stickers right here. No multiple steps, no trying to get a printer with label paper and lining stuff up and figuring it out in the software. Y'all, I was never able to do that. I never could figure it out, but this right here, so I could easily make labels because I've already figured out, I've done the work for y'all. So if y'all want to cover these, if you have some that you want to use again, um, I've already figured out the correct size for these. I have literally done trial and error for y'all to figure it out. I did a trial on a piece of paper, which got me thinking this morning what I could do. So down below in the description box, I'm going to put the exact dimensions that you will need to make these circles. I am going to show you creating it within the design space, but I just wanted to kind of give you like a synopsis, I guess. Since we won't be using the smart label vinyl or just the smart vinyl, we're going to be bringing out the mat. We're just going to cut this to size and make it fit. And then of course, like I said, we'll use the pen and the blade and we'll get that done. So pulling up Cricut Design Space, you can see the one that I was playing around with. Um, we're just gonna grab a circle over there from the shapes and we're gonna change the dimensions on this. And this is gonna be 3.313 for this outer circle. And now we're just gonna make a smaller one to go here in the center and the dimensions of it is gonna be 1.688. And then make sure it's centered, you just select both of them and then click up there at a line and then you're going to slice it out down there at the bottom like I just showed you. So then you just delete all those other little circles that you don't need and then adding in that square that we changed into a rectangle, um, we are going to make it 0.188 in dimension and align it centered horizontally, slice it and delete all those pieces. Like I said, I will have this in a better description down below if you need to follow along with it. Now you can add in whatever text you're gonna to wanna to add. I did change the color of this. This does not matter because of course it's not gonna make a difference, but I could just see it a little bit better. Um, and then you're gonna make sure that if you want it curved, you're gonna go over to that option and just curve that font. Of course, we're gonna center everything, make sure it all looks good. Now before you attach your font or your lettering there to the actual circle, make sure that your lettering is not set to cut, but it's set to pin so that it's actually going to write that out and not cut it out of your circles. So make sure that you do that. You'll notice there on the right hand side that the font part you're writing will say print or pin um, and then the other part will say cut. So make sure that it says those two different things before you start onto this. So like I said, we're going to be using the mat because we're just using just regular old scrapbook paper change the size because our mats actually um, the 12 inch long one so we're just going to change the size of that I'm just sort of rearranging them to make sure they're not too close for when I go to pull them off and get everything separated 
and we're going to pick the paper or really whatever it is that you're using and it's going to start getting everything set up so this does the pen first so we're going to insert that easily click it it is going to measure the mat to make sure everything's right the way that it should be and then clicking go it's just going to start printing out all of that text that we did first and once it's done with this um, because this did take two different sheets for the six different um, little circle things that I was making you're going to take out the pen and then reinsert your blade easy peasy and then it'll start back cutting you don't have to do anything other than just click go on the screen it literally tells you exactly when to do all the steps now that we're all done with the design I'm going to take and apply these to my little rings I'm just going to use a stick of glue it was very simple I would recommend taking off any like older um, stickers that were on there some of mine wouldn't come off so I just had to work with it but if you can get them off I would definitely recommend doing that the glue worked very well for this project craft project numero dos uh, we're going to be using the Cricut Joy smart vinyl for this one so we're not going to need a mat and opening a new project I'm going to start typing out to the labels that I want to use for each of those drawers and figuring out which font I think just looks the best this is just for aesthetics here so you can use whatever font you want and then figuring out what I want each drawer to say so once we have those now I know what size the drawers are on the front so I'm going to fix the width I wasn't so worried about how um, how long they were it was pretty much like the height well I guess it would be the height <laughs> the height of the letters to make sure that they weren't too big for the fronts of those drawers we're using the without mat feature here so I'm going to make sure that I click that as well as choosing the material which is that smart vinyl loading everything up of course the joy is going to measure it again to make sure everything is right and how it should be so that's what it's doing right here and now it is going to begin cutting y'all how easy how easy is that now right here I'm just going to cut off the excess and go ahead and start weeding everything out I did find that this smart vinyl weeded so much easier than other vinyls that I've used in the past so I would highly recommend testing this out now bringing in the transfer tape this is going to bring all those letters up onto this piece of pretty much it's like tape so that you can easily apply it to whatever surface you're working on sometimes this can be a little tedious I'm not gonna lie um, I do like to go ahead and put them all together and then cut them separately so I'm only having to attach one um, thing of transfer tape and there it is I wish they all come off that easy but I'm just gonna be honest here sometimes they don't it just takes a little a little work and just as easy as that everything is done and I'm super proud of how all of this turned out I've been having so much fun today doing all the crafting things and I am I'm just so excited to get his closet situated I mean I'm excited to get his whole room um, in order and get everything as it should be <laughs> my mind will be able to be in a much better place once everything is where it should be and I have everything all nicely organized and the sizes that's going to be so helpful with figuring out exactly what I have left that I need to get um, what I have maybe a little bit too much of <laughs> and what I'm missing definitely getting everything in its place and very organized thanks to the new Cricut Joy I was able to make everything super personalized and make it even easier to get everything in its own specific place which also helps when you have other people that are looking for things and I know a lot of us have our own system when it comes to organization but not everybody understands and knows where things go so stuff like this makes it very easy for me to say hey Cody go get the baby a passy <laughs> I could just say go look in the closet and he'll be able to see pacifiers okay he knows where there are now um, so I'm gonna be making lots more labels for lots more things it was super easy I've made labels before but this was my first project on the Cricut Joy I wanted to be able to show you all that process and me testing things out for y'all um, if you want to see anything else baby or organization related all the nesting stuff leave that down below in the comments also don't forget to look down below in the description box for all the information about the Cricut Joy and different tools and stuff that I recommend having on hand and I hope you guys enjoyed this if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to the channel for future content I will see you guys in the next one I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day y'all bye